Oh, hi, Odie. I'm just about to take a test call. How brave Ready? are you? Here's your first situation. A poisonous snake is coming at you. I'm not afraid. A giant grizzly bear is attacking. I'm not afraid. A man-eating lion is loose. I'm not even afraid of a cat-eating lion. An army of monsters and werewolves and vampires is attacking. I am absolutely, definitely, utterly not afraid. Oh, Garfield. My nieces Drusilla and Minerva are coming to visit. <laughs> but I, I, I lock the door, bar the windows. We have to move to another country. Help! Help! <laughs> Snakes and bears and monsters can only eat you. These are John's nieces. Don't you remember them from last season, Show Seventeen? <laughs> We hate it. That must be them. Oh. We have to hide, Odie, under John's bed, quick. Uh -oh. <laughs> Hi, Uncle John. Great to see you, Minerva and Drusilla. Don't worry, Odie. Even if we have to stay under here the rest of our lives, I'm prepared. I knew John's nieces might come back someday, so I stored 25 crates of canned lasagna. Gee, I wish I'd have brought some for you. What can they do to us? They can dress us up in frilly doll clothes like they did last time. But I'm determined. I'm absolutely not going to let them do that to me again. No! Stop! Help! Don't! Call the Humane Society! Call somebody! And the worst part is, I don't even look good in this color. Hey! Kitty Cat! Bridal gown for you to try on! You'll be so beautiful! <laughs> This is not good. You ladies know how hard it is to run in high heels. Oh my goodness. I mean, <laughs> badness. The oh. kitty cat can fly. Let's dress him up as a flight attendant next. My, you're a plump one. Almost big enough for my oven. I'm sorry, Mrs. Cauldron. Is she a witch? She looks like a witch. Maybe I am, and maybe I'm not. But, my, you're an adorable little girl. And, my, you're an adorable little girl. And, my, you're uh, not. Uh, and, my, you're not exactly Miss Universe yourself, lady. <laughs> Girls, uh, let's let Mrs. Cauldron get home with her shopping, okay? Oh, thank you. And maybe you'll come and visit me sometimes, little lady. <laughs> Let's take you girls inside and read you a story. Yeah, we want to hear a story about a witch. Yeah, we want to hear Hansel and Gretel. It's got a witch okay, in it. Okay, Hansel and Gretel it is. Odie, huh? if you laugh at the way I look, if you so much as giggle. <laughs> Good. <laughs> meow. He's right. <laughs> and so Hansel and Gretel follow the breadcrumbs to the house of the Wicked Witch. <gasps> the Wicked Witch invited them inside and offered them gingerbread. <laughs> Don't just stand there, Odie. We have to prepare to defend ourselves. That story can't last forever. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going on a spying mission to find out what the enemy is up to. And so the evil witch tried to push Hansel and Gretel into the oven, but they were too fast for her. 
<laughs> Never mind the fortress. It wouldn't keep him out anyway. I've got a better idea. I need to go to the market so I can make dinner for our guests. Keep an eye on Drusilla and Minerva while I'm out, Garfield. I'm counting on you. You've made this mistake before. Oh. This is the moment of truth, puppy face. We have to act fast. We have a nice prom dress for you to try on. Look, Drusilla. You're Drusilla. I'm Minerva. All right. I can't tell us apart. There's candy. This is so good. <laughs> Breadcrumbs like in the story. Mm. We'll eat them to Mrs. Cauldron's house. Me. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Come in. We'll have tea. I like tea. I want hot cocoa. Oh, come in. We have so much to talk about. <laughs> That'll keep him away while I do something of vital importance. <laughs> of course, a nap. <laughs> Ah, oh, poor Mrs. Cauldron, such an odd lady. Always dressing up like a wicked witch. Hey, what if she is a wicked witch? Nah, there's no such thing, and besides, it isn't Halloween. <sighs> I think I'll just give me some good, good stuff. <laughs> Bubble, my fine potions. I just need to add some Eye of Newt, three ounces of raven toenails, <laughs> and the final ingredient, two identical bratty laces. Help! You mean old Wicked Witch! You wouldn't do this if our friend Garfield was here. Well, your friend Garfield isn't here. And even if he was, he'd be too fat and lazy to help you. Garfield, help! Where are you? She's a wicked witch. She's a wicked witch. And she's going to do wicked witch things to John's nieces. I've just got to save them. Yeah. Ow. Wait a minute, do I? Yes, I guess I have to. This is it. Goodbye, Drusilla. I keep telling you, you're Drusilla. I thought I was Minerva. It doesn't matter. You're both ingredients. <laughs> I hand those annoying children. Hey, do I know how to make a big entrance or what? Oh, <laughs> this is perfect. I have a recipe that calls for a goat. Huh? <gasps> and just where do you think you're going to get a goat at this hour? <laughs> sure, do it the easy way. <laughs> oh! <laughs>
What happened? Where am I? Garfield! Where are Drusilla and Minerva? The evil witch is putting them into the twin casserole. I have to save them. <laughs> Drusilla! Minerva! Don't worry. Garfield's coming to save you. Don't put them into your recipe, Mrs. Coven. Don't! Oh, hello, Pussycat. Did you come to join us? We're having tea with Mrs. Cauldron, and we're learning all sorts of interesting things. <laughs> you knew it was a dream sequence all along. Why didn't you tell me? Thank you for a lovely conversation, Mrs. Cauldron. Oh, and all the things you taught us. Oh, come back and visit us any time, dears. <laughs> Thank you for coming to get us, Garfield. Mrs. Cauldron convinced us we shouldn't make you play dress up anymore. Ah, <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> I guess everything turned out great after all. He'll make a great goat. Let's make him into a big one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like lasagna for dinner tonight. For some reason, I have bleh, craving for old tin cans. Meow. Lunch will be ready in five minutes, Garfield. We should have never let computers control so much of our lives. We could have stopped them from enslaving us if only we had... Could have stopped them if what? How could we have stopped them? TV! I want my TV. Come back, come back. Picture, huh? Ah, looks like the cable's out again. I'll go call. How could you leave me like this? Haven't I been an attentive friend? Haven't I watched you like night and day? You have reached the cable TV company. Press one to start. For English, press two. For tech support, press nine. If you live on the west side, press four. I hope they hurry. I have to find out how to stop the computers from enslaving us. Press 8 if your last name begins with the letters A through M. Oh. Garfield, I have to go check the casserole. Listen on the phone and let me know when a human being comes on the line. That could take months. I'm not sure they have any at that company. Press 5 if your TV set is color. Press 2-9 if there is a potted plant on top of your TV set. Press 316 if it is a fern. Huh? Boy, they want to know everything. Your call is important to us, so stay on the line. That's so comforting to hear. Your call is important to us, so stay on the line. Oh. Your call is important to us, so stay on the line. If it's so important to you, why don't you take it? Press 8 if you're fed up with listening to this terrible music. <gasps> Press 7-7 seven, seven if your eyelids are getting heavy. <laughs> Press 9 if you're about to have a dream sequence. Your call is important to us, so stay on the line. Press 5 if you would like a pizza. <laughs> 
Stop a herd of charging elephants! Oh. If you would like to stop a herd of charging elephants, press 5, 2, 8, 7, 8, 8, 9, 4, 2, 4, 9, 3, 8, 8, 9, oh, no. 2, 8, 2, 1, 4, 8, 9, 2, 6, 9, 4, 2, 4, 9, 1, 9, 7, 4, yeah. I needed that. I really needed that. Can't talk to you now. I have to get back on hold. How long have you been on hold? I don't know. What year is this? You've been on hold as long as I've been on hold. 63 years. 63 years? Why don't you just hang up? Can't I lose my place? They're going to answer my call in the order in which it was received. We've all been here so long, waiting on hold. None of us even remember who we're waiting to have pick up on the other end. I'm not sure, but I think I was ordering a surfboard. Something has to be done about this. I need to come up with a brilliant idea. If you would like a brilliant idea, press 7. <gasps> As you can see, I have a brilliant idea. And this isn't an old-fashioned brilliant idea, no sir. This is one of those long-life energy-saving brilliant ideas. No, oh, you can't reason with them. There's nobody to talk to. Then I'll have to find someone I can talk to. I'll have to find a human being. <gasps> Any? Someplace there's one, and I'm gonna find him. <laughs> if you would like to find him, press five, one. See? Huh? <laughs> press five if you would like a pizza. <laughs> okay, so where's this human being? 
human being. There he is. If you would like to go in where the human is, press 1. If you would like to go to the South Pole, press 2. Oh no, I meant to press 1. I would like to go back where I was. If you would like to go back where you were, press 7. Oh. Enough! I am now going to talk with an actual human being. Hey, where are the humans? Humans? There are no humans. No humans? No, and there haven't been in years. By the way, your call is important to us, so stay on the line. <gasps> no humans? In here we've been worried about computers taking over. That happened long ago. But don't worry, your call will be answered in the order received. Uh, I get it now. You get rid of all the humans. You have them all trapped on hold. Trapped there for all eternity. Well, you won't get away with it. I'll stop you. I'll tell the world. If you would like to tell the world, press 8. If you would like to tell the world, press your zip code. If you would like to tell the world, press your zip code. Please press 1 button. If you would like to tell the world, press your zip code. Please press 1 button. If you would like to tell the world, press your zip code. If you would like to tell the world, press your zip code. If you would like to tell the world, press your zip code. If you would like to tell the world, press your zip code. If you would like to tell the world, press your zip code. They don't want to be on hold. They don't want to press anything to do anything. Just stop that awful music. Stop! Stop! Huh? Garfield, can't you hear the door? Go answer it. <gasps> Your call is important to us, so stay on the line. Your call will be answered in the order received. About time, he answered. I just wanted to tell you your cable TV was out, but we fixed it. You get any more trouble, call us at this number. Press 1 for tech support. Press 2 to schedule an appointment. Press 3 to cancel or reset. No, no, it's a trick. Y you're trying to enslave us all. Well, you won't get me. I won't get trapped on hold for the rest of my life. You can't fool me. You won't answer my call in the order received. Hmm, Garfield hasn't been acting like himself lately. I better take him into Liz's office for a checkup. To continue this call in English, press 1. To speak to Liz, the veterinarian, press 3, 6. To hear our office hours, press 8. To return to the opening menu and start all over again, press 2. To continue this call in English, press 1. Since half past the beginning of time, men have had wishes. Dreams of wealth, power, love, and all that can be desired. Tales are told of magic forces that turn wishes into reality. One such tale involves a bejeweled bottle, a magic genie, and three wishes. It is a tale told time and again, and told this day about a man named John Arbuckle. <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. Odie seems to be having a good time. Don't go too far, Odie! How are you enjoying the beach, Garfield? Oh, it's not so bad. Especially when you bring everything you need from home. You can do this if you have a truck and a 10 mile extension cord. <laughs> Down the beach, the puppy dog was there when a glistening bottle washed up on the shore. It was so attractive, so magical, that he had to take it back to his master. Sorry I have to get back to the clinic. Bye, Liz. <laughs> what did you find, boy? Huh? Hmm. I can't make out most of the writing, but there's something on here about unleash the genie, three wishes. <laughs> you find silly stuff on the beach. Sure do. I got it. I got it. Garfield, do you think it's possible? Three wishes. I know just what I'd wish for. So do I. Riches beyond compare. <laughs> Fame all around the world. <laughs> and success in everything I do. <laughs> Lasagna. More lasagna. And even more lasagna. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? No, no, not here. Let's take it home and open it there. Oh, wait. What about the... Nah, never mind. We can just wish for new ones. John Arbuckle hurried home. And there, he decided to do a bit of research before uncorking the bejeweled bottle. So with my first wish, I'll wish for a million more wishes. And just before I use all of them up, I'll wish for another million. And another, and another. It says here that the legend of the genie in the bottle goes back thousands of years. Some genies are good and some are bad. Oh. To get rid of a bad genie, you hey, must- never mind that. I have my first 193 wishes all set to go. All right, here goes. Ah, is right, pup. I haven't been so disappointed since John made eggplant parmesan. Well, it was kind of a silly dream. Imagine, a magic genie in a bottle. Come on, I'll go make us some eggplant parmesan. from the prison of the bejeweled bottle. Oh, I did, I did. My name is John Arbuckle. And for my first wish, I would like... Silence! I am Omar! Omar? What kind of name is that for a genie? Thank you for releasing me, John Arbuckle. And now you shall grant me three wishes. Me? No, you've got it backwards. You're supposed to grant me three wishes. Are you going to grant me three wishes, or do I have to turn you into a frog? What's your first wish? I want, I want lasagna! Hey, he took my wish. Lasagna? I have been locked in that bottle for hundreds of years. I'm hungry. Get me lasagna, 50 pounds of it. Lasagna? Well, at least I know how to get that. Hey, tall, dark, and smoky. You have all these magic powers. How come John has to get you what you want? <laughs> <laughs>
I like being waited on. Okay, that I understand. Vito, John Arbuckle, I need 50 pounds of lasagna. That's right, half my usual order. In no time at all, Omar's first wish was granted. <laughs> Are you going to eat that? Yes. Yes, your genius, sir? Oh. For my second wish, I want dancing girls. Dancing girls? I can't find dancing girls. You want to be a frog? I can find dancing girls. Dancing girls, dancing girls. Where am I going to get dancing girls? Hello? Hi, Liz, it's me. Liz, would you like to do me a big favor? Soon, Omar's second wish was granted. Sort of. Very good. Very good. I vote yes. John, remind me again why I'm doing this. So your boyfriend doesn't get turned into a frog. Oh, I knew there had to be a good reason. Uh, Omar, uh, sir, uh, could we get your third wish over with now? Certainly. For my third wish, I would like <laughs> a million more wishes. <laughs> he keeps stealing my wishes. Huh? Yeah, I want more food, more dancing girls, and buy me video games, and cluck like a chicken. <laughs> Garfield, what am I going to do? Probably live on a lily pad and eat flies. <clears throat> genie or no genie, I've got to stand up to him. Omar, whatever it is, the answer is no. I'm not granting you any more wishes. <laughs> You're right, Odie. I have to do something. The clever cat thought and thought. Trying to conceive a plan that would... Hey, lady! I'm trying to think here. Sorry. Odie, John found something on the internet earlier about how to get rid of a genie. Uh -huh. Come on! It took him but moments to find it. See here. To get rid of a bad genie, you must get him to say his name backwards. He will disappear, and you'll be granted one wish as your reward. Whoa! I even get a wish? But how do I get him to say his name backwards? I want more food! More food! That was when the clever feline got his idea. I got an idea. We're going down to Vito's to get more food. <laughs> <laughs> the cat and dog hurried to the place known as Vito's Pizzeria. There, they convinced the one named Vito to print up a special menu just for them. Then, they hurried home. Omar wants food! If I don't get my food wish soon, I'm going to turn someone into an art park! Bet you can't spell it. Here, Omar, a menu from Vito's. Just pick out whatever you want. I want everything! I want the spaghetti, I want the ravioli, I want the pizza, I want the ramo. What's ramo? Ramo is Omar backwards. Oh. <laughs> you tricked me. You tricked me into saying my name backwards. You'll be sorry. You'll be sorry. I'll turn you into a slug. Not me. Put a cork in it, fella. <laughs> He's gone, Odie. We'll take the bottle back and throw it in the ocean. And remember, Garfield, you have a wish. Thank you, narrator lady. Right, Odie. <gasps> I have a wish. I can wish for anything. I can wish for money. I can wish for lasagna. I can wish for money and lasagna. I can wish for power and fame and more lasagna and success and... Garfield. <sighs> but I guess I have to wish to get John back to the way he was. I wish. I wish everything was the way it was this morning.
Odie seems to be having a good time. Don't go too far, Odie. How are you enjoying the beach, Garfield? <laughs> So there is this lesson. Be careful what you wish for. You just may get it. Again, and again, and again. Ah! <laughs> So good to see you again. <sighs> You're looking quite well today. Lasagna is my friend. Time to eat. Um, 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 um. <laughs> This is an outrage! We cannot let the least thing go unpunished. What a revolting sight, oh glorious leader! That orange monster continues to devour beings such as us! Yes, General. But thankfully, the galaxy will soon be rid of him and his entire planet. If I didn't know better, I'd say I just saw a flying ravioli go by. <gasps> Whoop, not so fast. Gotcha. Oh well. Ravioli is a ravioli. Transmission interrupted. The vile orange creature just ate the spying device. Revenge! 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 People of Aparma, as your leader, I have ordered that the evil orange monster and its barbaric planet be destroyed at once! Operation Blasteroid is a go! Stretch! Dr. Bonkers! Dr. Bonkers! Stratospheric radar detects a large object hurtling towards Earth! Oh, this doesn't look good! Wow! This doesn't look good at all! So, do you want to watch Binky the Clown? Nope. My contract says he's not allowed on this series. We interrupt this program to bring you breaking oh. news. This is Dr. Thaddeus Bonkers. Doctor, would you tell our viewers what you just told me? Certainly. A giant asteroid is heading straight for planet Earth. What? <gasps> yes. It will strike in exactly 13 hours and 13 minutes and 13 <gasps> seconds and destroy the entire world. <laughs> But there's one chance. We have a rocket ship that could fly up and destroy the asteroid before it reaches us. Thank goodness. Oh, you said it. 
The problem is that no one can fit into the rocket in order to fly it. You say that the spaceship's cockpit was designed by a former cartoonist? Yes, and for some reason, he designed these spacesuits in the shapes of an obese pussycat and an empty-headed puppy dog. Our only hope is to find someone who fits into these spacesuits, who could therefore fly the rocket up and save the world. <laughs> <laughs> You won't actually have to fly the rocket. Everything will be controlled and monitored by ground control. Good. We have nothing to worry about. As soon as the rocket lands on the asteroid, you will go out and deposit the payload. Bad. Huh? We have much to worry about. To oh. activate the payload, you only need to push the button on the tube. Then you'll have 10 minutes to return to the rocket and leave the asteroid before it explodes. <laughs> Good luck, you'll need it. Mankind is counting on you guys. If I were mankind, I'd be worried. What happened to six and five? Blast off! Soon the evil barbaric planet will be reduced to rubble! Glorious leader, there seems to be an object flying towards the blasteroid. A primitive spacecraft. And it looks like it is going to land on the blasteroid. <laughs> Bodhi, we're 100,000 miles from Earth. A hundred thousand miles from civilization. And worst of all, a hundred thousand miles from Vito's Pizzeria. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they deliver this far. <laughs> okay, guys. Drop off the payload. Activate it and return to the rocket immediately. What's he think we're gonna do up here? Wait for an ice cream truck to come by? something familiar? Uh-huh. If I didn't know better, I'd say it's... Oops. <laughs> mm. Yes! Just as I thought, Odie. This asteroid, it's a giant meatball. <laughs> yes, we are on a meteor. Yippee! <laughs> what is he doing? Is he eating the asteroid? The rocket's probe has analyzed the composition of the asteroid. It's made of onion and garlic-infused beef. <sighs> Leave it to Garfield to find the biggest meatball in the universe. <laughs> You're endangering the mission! Drop the payload and get... Quiet, I'm eating. <laughs> Can the creature really eat the entire blasteroid? Yes, it can. I have seen it dining before. It is insatiable. <laughs> Yikes. Houston, we have a problem. Look at him. How is he going to get back into the rocket? There is a very simple way. Wish I knew what it was. Bodhi. I can't go back into the rocket. Any bright ideas? Uh-uh. 
Of course not. You're Odie. The brightest idea you ever had was chasing your tail for nine hours. The rocket is about to blast off. Garfield is going to be left stranded in outer space. Thanks, Odie. I knew you'd come up with something. Actually, I didn't. I just said that to make him feel good. Well done, Odie. You saved Garfield's life. Not really. Garfield is the asteroid now. Earth is doomed once again. I'm deflating every time I burp. Miss! He is almost back to his normal size! Her planet is safe! <laughs> Where's Garfield? Mayday! Mayday! Welcome back, Garfield. You were heroic. Yes, I was. And you owe me big time. I'm going to make a list. I'm starving. Italian, anyone? Oh, no. OK, suit yourself. We'll go eat without you. I know a great I'm not touching of food of any kind for a long, long time. Especially, did he say Italian? <laughs> Remember how I used to say that I would go to the ends of the universe for lasagna? <laughs> well. I did! People of Parma, once again, the evil orange monster wins, but it's not over. There will be a sequel, and we will have our revenge! <laughs> oh, Normal, you're so cute. You're just about the most adorable thing on this whole planet. <laughs> hey, Garfield, isn't Normal cute? <laughs> yeah, very cute. Normal is absolutely cute. Oh, hey, did you see that cute thing he did earlier, chasing a fly through the kitchen? Cute, adorable, just cute and adorable. Ah, <sighs> I'm so glad he'll be staying with us for a couple of months. I couldn't be happier. Imagine a couple months with Nermal. Yippee, what joy. And I appreciate you being so nice and always smiling at him. Do you really mean it, Garfield? Just one second. Ugh. I can't stand you, Nermal. You're annoying, you're disgusting, you're disgusting and annoying. Oh, Garfield. Huh? I'll be out for a while. Play nicely with Nermal. Yes, I will play nicely with my good friend Nermal. Oh, 
Disgusting and annoying. And did I mention repulsive and infuriate? You're just jealous, Garfield. Jealous because I'm the picture of you, and you're the picture of you. I'm gonna get a snack, then sit in your chair and watch TV. <laughs> Huh? I'm gonna get rid of that. That blight on the good name of Cat once and for all. Garfield's done some rotten things to me, but that was one of the rottenest. Almost as bad as the time he glued mouse ears on me and tried to sell me at a pet store as a large rat. Garfield! Garfield? Who's Garfield? Oh, come on, you know who Garfield is. This nice puppy? Well, thank you, Garfield. Huh? That's cute how you slurp me like that. Could Garfield have lost his memory? Oh, well, there's an easy way to find out. Say, uh, I think there's some lasagna in the kitchen. Lasagna? Isn't that kind of fattening? Whoa! <gasps> He's got amnesia, Odie. <laughs> Uh, Odie, go outside and wait for John to come back. He'll know what to do. John? Who's John? He's this guy who never knows what to do. But he better not find you in here. Why not? You're a mangy alley cat named Ichabod, and you're not allowed in the house. Ichabod? Yes? You live outside, and you only eat stuff you find in trash cans. Well, if he says so. <laughs> and now I have the whole house to myself. <laughs> yes. I'm kind of hungry. I better go find some trash cans. Ichabod. <laughs> I don't seem to be finding much to... Oh, here's something. Hey, if you're not gonna eat that... Let us have it. Huh? I'm famished, brother. Mmm. Mm. That's good, good eating. Eat. Uh, you guys like that? Best meal I've had in days. Really hit the spot. Hey, welcome to the neighborhood, fella. I'm Tino, and this is my brother, Gino. Where are you from? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. This is gonna be so great, not having Garfield around. No one to bother me, no one to mail me to Abu Dhabi. <laughs> okay, so Odie misses his friend. Well, I don't. Let's see, which of these pictures of me is better? Huh. What difference does it make? I'm adorable in both. Nice of you guys to show me around. Think nothing of it, Ichabod. We like to sleep in the alley on account of the guy who runs that restaurant over there. He throws out something delicious. 
Better than fish skeletons, even. You pussy cats! Don't you go knocking down the feeders and trash cans again! You do, and I will call the authorities. <laughs> he thinks we do it. We don't. Crusher does it. Crusher? Well, I don't know who Crusher is, but uh, I'm too hungry. You'll be showy. Yeah, especially if Crusher comes around. <laughs> oh, gee, maybe it's fattening, but it sure smells so good. Hey, you, what's your name? Ichabod. Ichabod. Oh, well, give me that lasagna, Ichabod. No. No? Well, you know what I'm gonna do to you? No, but I know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, is this the animal control department? Okay, Ichabod, you're through. You're through. <laughs> Got rid of Crusher? Brilliant! You're pretty smart for a cat who's lived all his life in alleys. Thanks, but I'm drawn irresistibly to this lasagna. Oh, that taste. Mm, that texture. I know that taste and texture as well as I know my own name. And my own name is Garfield. Garfield? Better than Ichabod. <laughs> hey, what is it? Guys, I have to go deal with someone. Someone who's too cute for my own good. <laughs> Hi, Odie. <laughs> hey, down boy, down boy. Look, I'm glad to see you too, but wait. You're a mangy alley cat named Ichabod, and you're not allowed in the house. Oh. Ichabod? Yes, you live outside, and you only eat stuff you find in trash cans. Huh? Wait here, I have something I have to do. I haven't had any problem. <gasps> Garfield! Uh, Garfield? Who's Garfield? <laughs> My name is Ichabod, and I'm an alley cat, and I eat out oh. of trash cans. I need a job. Could I be your servant, please? <laughs> you? My servant? All right. Get me two three-minute eggs, three two-minute eggs, and a side order of anything that takes a long time to cook. Uh, certainly. Just let me adjust your chair for you. <laughs> hey, Garfield! Let me out! Garfield! Garfield! Garfield? Who's Garfield? My name is Ichabod. <laughs> Abu Dhabi and step on it. Garfield! Say goodbye, whoever you are! <sighs> uh, here you go, guys. Do you have any idea where Normal is? Right now, I'd say, uh, somewhere over the Atlantic Ocean. Huh? Hey, don't be rude. 
We have to serve our guests first. Here you go, guys. Oh, well, well, this looks delicious. It's got to be better than eating fish skeletons out of trash cans. Obviously, you've never tasted John's cooking. 